the Hoobin E7 arrived today. Let's open it up. I'm going to go and check if reverse polarity protection has been fixed because I have previously tested this and reverse polarity protection did not work. Cool, so let's, let's just don't put it from that end. Okay, there we go. Nice. So here's the headlamp. It's the Wibbon E7. Boom. What is this? Is it a warning? Yeah, please remove the insulation sheet. Okay. So it's not really a warning, just a FYI. There is an insulation sheet. Cool. Battery. Let's see if that turns on. Yep, that turns on. Okay, so let's put the battery in backwards and see if it works. Hopefully it doesn't break. Oh, actually. Oh, sorry, the O-ring was getting caught. Here we go. So, that, that is fine. That back in. Sorry, the O-ring keeps getting caught. Uh, here we go. Cool, so that works. I think this little 18350 has reverse polarity protection, which is great. Let's put the extension tube in. And I've got this 18650 cell, I'll put that in the right way. So don't try this at home. Oh, well, this is fine if this is in the right way, but yeah, that, that works. Let's put this in the reverse way and hopefully it doesn't break. I think they're supposed to have fixed it. Although, let's use some common sense. So I've got serial numbers here. Uh, 36 is 339. So it's a relatively new batch. Hopefully it's been fixed. They said it was fixed. Yeah, that can be scary. Is that still working? Put that back in again. So it's, this is extremely dangerous. If you, yeah, if, if the reverse polarity protection doesn't work. There's no smoke, so that's good. So it looks like reverse polarity protection has been fixed. Let's try another cell. Here's another cell. Just double check the voltage. Three point six volts. What's this one? Three point eight. So it was three point eight volts. That's okay. Three point six is a bit low. It's a storage voltage. Just doing this in one take, so you know there's no... Oh, it's just normal. Put 
this in backwards. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. I've tested two unprotected cells in the wrong way. It hasn't burnt the driver. Seems like it's working. So yeah, thanks Wibin for fixing the reverse polarity protection on the Wibin E7. We've got the serial number E7 36304620. So cool. Thanks Wibin.